Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope everyone's doing well and having a great day. So it's finally happened. Bitcoin has officially passed the $10,000 per coin mark. Currently sitting at $10,034 a coin on CoinMarketCap, I believe, at the time of making this video. What's interesting to note is that Bitcoin actually passed $10,000 on a few other exchanges around the world. I think like a day or two ago, there was a news about Japan, there was news about South Korea. It just seemed like the U.S. dollar market was the uh, the slowest one. This marks an almost $2,000 rise in a few days as Bitcoin was hovering around $8,000 per coin around Black Friday. So uh, this is literally the moment that investors have been waiting for for a couple of years now. Um, this was really one of, if not the largest psychological barrier next to $1,000 or $1 million a coin. Um, in just the last six weeks alone, we've seen Bitcoin derivatives, bonds, hedge funds all announced. And it seems like this is all just the beginning. Uh, I hope you guys have had a great ride. And next stop is $20,000 a coin. So if you've looked at the recent prices on CoinMarketCap, you might have noticed that EOS shot up in price. It's currently sitting at $2.95 a coin at the time of this recording, which is up around 10%. I thought it was simply the result of the 10K hype that a lot of other coins have uh, kind of been pushing up as well. But it appears that this is actually a bit more than that. EOS, um, who say that they aim to provide scalable, flexible, and usable infrastructure for decentralized applications has announced that their um, recent partnership with Block One will help to make EOS the most advanced blockchain software around. Interesting. The CEO of EOS indicates that their current roadmap, which includes single-threading testing, which will start in December, followed by an additional multi-threaded layer, which is being developed and will be launched in 2018, are both things to look forward to. Going on to say that their work on the parallel execution engine is actually eight months ahead of schedule and should be ready by the summer of next year. So uh, talks will actually be taking place during the Block Show Asia 2017 with the overall goal of giving people insight on future projects, collaborations, as well as speeches from a lot of well-known speakers in the crypto community. So last up, if you thought uh, $10,000 a coin uh, was crazy for an all-time high, at the moment, the price of one Bitcoin in Zimbabwe is currently trading at $17,875. If you've turned on your TV or have been on the internet in the last couple of weeks, you may have noticed Zimbabwe has been in the news a lot recently. Um, due to the resignation or uh, the ousting of their former president, this is not a channel about politics, so we won't get into why it happened. But part of the problem has been the devaluation and massive hyperinflation of their local currency, which is worth nothing at the moment. So we spoke a few weeks back when Bitcoin was around $7,800, how um, in Zimbabwe, the price of one Bitcoin was $13,000. Um, so now that we have hit 10000 the premium has increased even more in the country. Even after their new president had been sworn in, the price of Bitcoin continued to jump within the country as its citizens have really lost just about all hope in their nation's currency and have instead opted for cryptocurrencies instead trying to find a safe haven for their money. Um, this is <laughs> even more interesting is that the financial regulators within the country, people kind of thought that they would be a bit more laxed after this entire transition took place, but that is not the case. They have been told that Bitcoin is illegal within a country, which uh, it appears that no one there actually cares about it because the price of Bitcoin continues to go higher. Alrighty, guys, that is just about going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day wherever you might be. And yeah, I will talk to you all soon. See you.